Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Tonight, a little bit of cloud cover starting to move in overhead over the last hour. That'll give us some overnight clouds that may linger into early hours tomorrow. But still, the mild weather continues. We'll see some passing clouds here and there over the next couple of days, especially by Saturday. Clouds may make a return. But it won't be until Sunday until the storm system out west finally starts to move in. And it gives us a slight rain chance, mainly late Sunday, and perhaps even a few rain or snow showers by Sunday night into Monday. I can say this the system is looking increasingly less impressive for what it brings to our area. It's going to impact other areas a little bit more than us. Cloud cover certainly visible here from the Manhattan weather cam looking off to the west from West Topeka. There's some breaks in thinness to areas of those clouds, but still a mostly cloudy sky has returned to the region where we're 42 degrees. South winds at 9 miles per hour made it up to 43 after starting at 14. So a chill in the air this morning got replaced by a really nice, comfortable day considering where it's been. It certainly felt warm and it was warm in western Kansas where it was in the 60s back down to 59 at Liberal, 56 at Hayes. And so some of that warmth continues to try to expand even more to the east as it did today and getting us into the 40s at least well above freezing 36 still at Marysville 39 for Burlington and Junction City checking in with 45 degrees south winds 7 to as high as 14 and 15 miles per hour those breezes will have a bit of a cool factor to them during the evening hours wind chills are in the 30s uh, but considering where we've been, even this is better. <laughs> so uh, hard to really complain because we know what we just went through. So again, keeping that in mind, not too bad. Now this evening, those southerly winds, 10, 15 miles per hour for a while, should start to die down a little bit overnight at times down closer to 10 miles per hour. But if you'll notice, here we are getting close to 7 in the morning. They're still never fully letting up. We'll have those south winds during the day tomorrow. Again, generally speaking, running about 10 to at times. You'll see them up to 15 miles per hour toward the afternoon hours. So a breeze blowing through on your Friday. Cloud cover drifting in from the north now. And that will continue to move through as it's a pretty large area of clouds that extends back toward Wyoming. But this is the storm system producing rain that's dropping farther south. The southern end of it will get organized and move across the southern half of the country. Out ahead of it, those clouds should pass through largely by morning. And then leave us with a sunny to partly cloudy sky tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised to see some more thin clouds. But watch what happens on Saturday as thicker clouds start to spread northward over the area, giving us a mostly cloudy sky on Saturday. And then as we head into Sunday, mostly cloudy with a few scattering of rain showers by late in the day Sunday. Tonight down to 26 degrees, a cool start to the day. 52 tomorrow, so even warmer than we were today. 50 with lots of clouds around Saturday. It doesn't look like a sunny weekend, but it does look mild. 57 for Sunday and a few showers that could end as some rain or snow showers Sunday night into early Monday. Monday we cool back into the 40s and we hold in the 40s through a good portion of next week. Again, don't bank on a lot of precipitation, but also don't be surprised by it late Sunday into early Monday. There's a nice view of downtown Topeka this morning while we were still sunny from Fred Betancourt. And you can see a peregrine falcon there uh, from Kay Watson in Topeka, just kind of peering there uh, right up the front door. Interesting. So. You know, I drove to Emporia today and I saw two coyotes on my way there. Yeah, well, they, you know, a little bit easier to spot sometimes in the winter when you get that mm -hmm. uh, white uh, on the ground because they blend in so well mm, yeah. when the grasses are all brown. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of interesting. I thought about bringing one back for you guys. <laughs> yeah. JC, you mentioned you need a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was good looking for a good deal on yeah. one. So. Yeah. But it's yeah. that time of the year when you start to see these That's animals. That's right, they're more. all over. <laughs>